Cracker Jacks here on the boat. Nathan's working at one end and I got Louie working on the other end and uh, we're getting stuff done. So uh, we're, Nathan's just finishing off the base for the windlass and Louie's figuring out the crazy spider web uh, under my fuse panel. I can so, show you. Yeah. You uh, there, you, there you go. There you go. So Anyway, Louis going to get the bilge pump happening uh, on the panel. He's going to get the shower uh, sump pump happening on the panel, not on separate little switches anymore. So it's going to be nice and clean. Onward and upward. another house or if we're going to be homeless and mm. just have a sailboat and Deb's shopping for houses yet <laughs> I'm giving you moral support oh you are yeah I am. oh yeah okay. so what have you found is there uh, anything that we should be buying or no no I don't think we should buy anything I'm just checking out Yeah, she's a, she's a bit of a landlubber, so she wants to get uh, some somewhere she can put her roots back down again. No, but... no, I'm okay with not. <laughs> Maybe roots, like in vegetable roots and like oh, yeah. gardens and stuff I'll miss for sure. Oh, yeah. but... To dig up some of my plants from around the house because yeah. I love to garden. This is behind my parents' barn at their property and I'm just planting some plants here that I wanted to keep from my old place. I just um, split some of my hostas and they were getting really big and I split some of them so that I could take them to our next property. And my mom and dad will certainly enjoy this garden. There's hascat berries, rhubarb, raspberries, um, actually um, a few other little things that I took pieces of from my, my old garden. I've been working on this for since last fall actually. So now I've got some hostas I want to transplant and um, yeah. So just plants that were really special to you? Well, and hostas are getting really expensive to um, purchase, so if I'm gone for a year or two, they'll get big enough that I can probably divide them four times. And tell us about the raspberries you've got here. Yeah, we call it Stuart's Raspberry Patch, <laughs> in honor of our friend Stuart. And they produce, um, they'll produce in the end of June, I think, and then again in the fall. Beautiful. And they're just prolific and the raspberries are large they're beautiful so the people who bought our house have this massive raspberry patch when we come back there'll be a raspberry patch here for my parents and I'll be able to take from it as well and start a raspberry patch at our new place so you're gonna miss gardening yes I am it's my it's one of my favorite things to do but changing gears once in a while is good too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find a little piece of dirt for you somewhere, I'm sure. Oh, fish and sprout. 
that will be as close as I get to gardening sprouting. <laughs> so, mother in law, dear. Oh, son in law. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for letting us uh, keep our plants here while we're gone. You'll take good care of them. Oh, yes. No, and you don't have to. You'll, uh, I'd appreciate it if you just pick all the raspberries and freeze them for us for when we come back. <laughs> sure. Would you be able to do that? Sure, I can do that. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Thank you. Watch your step, huh? We gotta sell some stuff. Yeah. We gotta sell a car, we gotta sell things that we don't, we don't feel want to put in storage. We wanna pay for storage. Okay, this is what garage uh, sale preparations look like at our house. Uh, we got a bunch of family here and they're helping us out. And we're getting all of our junk sold. The ad reads, come and buy our junk so we can go sailing. So this is some of our junk. Sandra, you need more stuff for your cottage. I'm trying to think what I'm going to get rid of. <laughs> well, we're getting closer. Every day we're taking a load to the storage unit. It's gradually... Uh, getting full. Our house is getting empty. Uh, there's the trailer right there. kind of odd seeing everything you own in a little tiny room. But here it all is. I expect someday to see this on one of those auction shows. <laughs> and there's another load coming in. Today's moving day. We got the truck all lined up and the garage is just about empty and we're about to get moved out and moved onto the boat. So can't believe that we've made it. It's been four months of five months, six months, I don't even know anymore. It's been a long time coming and uh, we're just about just about ready to go. All the kids are coming over today and the boys are going to help us and we're going to get the last of the big things over. Deb and I have been moving small stuff. You can see the garage that used to be quite full of stuff is pretty much empty now and the house is even emptier.
So my sister Angela came to visit. Hi. Leanne, how you doing? Good, how are you? Another sailor in the family. Anyway, her husband is kind enough to stand in, uh, in behind the wheel here. And uh, I have a similar image of Renee, not as well clad, but standing behind the wheel. And the weather was a little bit different. Dingy flip. The seas were angry that day, my friend. Talk to me.